this is how to example problems for work and energy. This is example 5B, which is on potential energy. We have Bonnie uh, on her horse, and she's trying to jump over a fence that is 1.6 meters high. Uh, the horse and Bonnie together weigh 2,400 newtons. We, wonder, we are wondering what the minimum potential energy uh, she'll need to have she and the horse clear the fence. So let's list out the information that we have and maybe draw a picture while we're at it. So here is the fence and here is Bonnie and the horse. As you can see, Bonnie and the horse look like a circle, but that's perfectly fine. The point is we are looking at the physics and the height here is 1.6 meters. And the only other thing we know is the 2400 newtons. So that is the gravitational force or the weight. So gravitational force is 2,400 newtons. And we are wondering about the potential energy. Potential energy is equal to a number of things. Uh, the most easily recognizable one is just mgh. It is also equal to the work done, though. Uh, but doesn't say anything about work. So let's look at the MGH. Well, I do know that gravitational force is the same thing as weight, which is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. And if I have the gravitational force, then really I have MG. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this as potential energy is equal to the gravitational force times height. Ah, remember when we were saying we don't have anything about work? Well, work is the gravitational force times the height, the, how far it goes and, in, uh, and how hard it's being pushed. So let's go ahead and plug in our values. We have 2,400 newtons times 1.6 meters and that will give us 3840 newton meters okay and let's go ahead and round that off to two sig figs that would be about 3800 joules we can still use newton meters but joules is also fine